Welcome to the Chapel Royal of St. Peter Ad Vincula. It's lovely to be talking to you this morning, and I hope that you're all in good health, sound body, and good spirit, as they say. I want to use as my Bible reference this, uh, today for this thought for the day some words from the first letter of John, chapter 5, verses 11 and 12. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who has not the Son has not life. Now these words, every time I read them, immediately um, bring back an association. And maybe you, like me, have words, music, picture, event, just something that automatically brings you back to a memory and an association from time in the past. For me, the reason these words um, come home to me are because of the 20th century evangelist, Billy Graham. Billy Graham used to hold these enormous rallies over in America, and when I was 19 and 20, he came over to London and held a, various, a series of rallies in Earl's Court. And I happened to be in London, and I went to one of these. Billy Graham stood there on the stage, 20,000 people, and there was a silence, and he prayed. And then he said, um, and this is the testimony that we have eternal life. Those who have the Son have life, and those who have not the Son have not life. Silence. Billy Graham knew how to work a good audience. I mean, I have to say that. He was a past master and very skillful at that. And then he looked up and said, Do you have the Son? Do you? Do you have the Son? And we all sort of, you know, jump back and there's this sort of quaking moment. And interestingly, what happened was that actually within a few seconds, some people began to respond enormously with, yes, 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 yes. And for others, there was a sort of silence, proving that actually quite the majority of the people that had gone to hear Billy Graham were already committed Christians. So every time I read these words from John's Gospel, they always have a throwback for me to that moment of a rally in Earl's Court when I was just a young man with a slightly different coloured hair and no beard, certainly. Do you have the sun? Now, I want to just explore that for just a very short second with you and explain to you that my Christian journey has been different from others. I have been somebody, I was fortunate enough to be sent to church as a youngster, Sunday school, choir, uh, youth groups, and if you like, have been nurtured in the church from the word go. I'm not somebody like St. Paul who had a Damascus experience when life was just bowling along, when all of a sudden God spoke to St. Paul as he has over the centuries to other people. And the reason it's really important to grasp that and to understand that is that for people like me and many like you, and also I suspect like many good Church of England parishioners, they are the kind of people like me who've travelled with God all the way through their life. So when Billy Graham says, do you have, those who have the Son have life, do you have life? We want to say yes, and we've actually had it since the beginning. And what we're trying to do is to live out that life. And I hope that reassures you. All this also comes about because of a conversation I had with somebody here at the Tower very recently who was feeling slightly guilty and not understanding the difference between the Damascus moment and the road that many of us have just travelled along from birth to wherever it will lead. I hope that offers you some reassurance this morning. Of course, there's nothing wrong with feeling that you have Jesus and God in your heart and you try to live that out and to be able to stand up and say, I am a Christian. Let us pray. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we thank you today for the pilgrimage that all of us shares and walks along. Some of us from the beginning of our life, some of us at dramatic moments in our life. We thank you for the variety that that is. We pray for the strengthening of your church, the strengthening of your disciples. And also we thank you 
for the evangelists such as Billy Graham and those who have been around over the many years. We ask this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>